It's Gabby here from Helps2. I'm excited to bring you our first tutorial ever about Facebook ads. Now, I wish I could go into the depth of all of the different kinds of ads that you can do on Facebook and how creative you can be, but today I'm only going to show you how to do one. It's our favorite one here at Helps2, and it's called a link ad. Now, let me show you really quickly by clicking here. When you're on Facebook, you can see this is my Facebook news feed. There's a couple different ads that you can do. You can do something called domain ad. This usually leads to someone's website. You can do like ads where it's an ad found in the news feed or a sidebar that helps you to like a page. So it'll pop up. But I'm going to show you about just a link ad, which is typically a link that goes anywhere. So let's go ahead and get started. When you do this, you must have a Facebook page, meaning you're not just somebody that uses Facebook as an individual. You have to have a Facebook page, so you're using it as a celebrity or a well-known person or a business or something of that sort. So we at Helps too, of course, we have a Facebook page. If you don't like us, I mean, hint, hint, I'm just kidding. But let's get started. Usually you click right into the box, your status box, and write something. And after you write it and post it, you can boost it if it follows Facebook's regulations. So I'm going to show you exactly how we like to boost things for ourselves and our clients in order to get the most engagement and to get it seen and used. So a few things. You always kind of start out with text, right? So I have my text ready. I'm going to post a blog today from our website. And this is the text that goes with the blog that I would write typically. I love to use compelling text, so I, I keep it short, no more than two lines. I love to have little hooks in there, so the words you um, pop out at people, as well as the word now. Uh, another word would be click here. For some reason, giving people directions really resonates online. So when you say click here, people are more willing to click there as opposed to you not telling them. Then they just kind of look at it and say, oh, that's pretty. And that's not always true, but it does help your chances of getting your link clicked. So another thing I'm going to tell you after I put that text there, I'm going to upload an image, like I said earlier. Now, images, according to Fast Company, get more than 50% more engagement than just text and link posts. So we want that engagement, we want it to be high, we're gonna do that. Before I do that, I need to go and actually get my link, and I believe it's right here, so I'm gonna click it um, on Facebook. We already posted it, so I'm gonna show you how to go about it, and here is, is on our website, I'm gonna get that URL, and as you can see, this is the article that we posted, it's a fun one. So we're going to go ahead and post this right now online. Five ways to look professional online. I'm going to post my link. And what I love about Facebook is that it auto-populates after that. It wants to give us pictures. Um, there's a picture of me, awkward. <laughs> uh, there's some other pictures off our website. And it gave us the picture from the article. Now, usually I just click there and it's all good. But if your picture does not meet the beautiful standards that look wonderful with link ads, you might want to reevaluate doing that. So just in case it isn't, I want to let you know that the best images and their size when it comes to using Facebook ad links, the best size is 1200 by 628 pixels. Or if you don't have that big of an image, 600 by 314 pixels. And if you have no idea, you should just know that your image should be the ratio of 1.9 to 1. Now, if you're totally confused with this, please Google it. It's great to know that you are kind of in the know when it comes to using the correct images to really compel people online to want to click your ads. So before I go ahead and upload an image, I'm going to unclick all these auto-populated ones so that they don't show up with my ad. And then I'm going to actually delete this URL that I posted in my text because it's already auto-populated. And when people click on my ad, they're going to go through it go through it, go to the website and click through it to the website and it'll be all good. So it's already auto populated as you can see right here by this little box and it has the title of our blog which looks like it's totally correct, five ways to look professional online, five ways to look professional online. 
looks awesome. And then you have some auto populating from the first couple paragraphs on the website. So that's wonderful. Let's go ahead and move on and upload our image. I believe it is actually on our desktop. So it's the right size. Here it is. I screenshot it so it would be easy for us in this tutorial. Now it is totally uploaded and ready to post. But first, it doesn't look like it would, just so you know, when it's posted because it hasn't actually been published. So sometimes your images will take on the full look and look like it should in your news feed, kind of like this. It's it's full size and width when it comes to how it'll look in your news feed and on your page. But right now it doesn't look like that. So let's go ahead and publish it and see what it looks like. There it goes. It looks exactly how we want it to look. Now, if your image doesn't look right or something's off or whatever, feel free to start again. <laughs> I always just delete it and I say, oops, I was just messed up. Let's do it again. And so I do that. And another thing you need to know when it comes to images, you can only have 20% of your image be text or less. And Facebook actually has a part of their site where you can go and upload your image and they'll tell you if that is so when it comes to your image. I will put that link in the description box below on this YouTube video. So feel free to click it and it'll take you right to the site that Facebook offers to check your images. So feel free to do that. Now, my image is my image, my whole post and the image, everything. It's totally live right now. People can see it, but it hasn't had much engagement. So me personally, I like to wait maybe like a day, mostly uh, a day, maybe two days to kind of get my post full ride of engagement so that when I go to boost my post, the um, rate at which Facebook will offer me in terms of the engagement rate and the price per engagement will be a lot cheaper if my post looks like it has high engagement. Now it's hard for Facebook to see that if you haven't given it time to have engagement. So the only time we ever go ahead and turn a post like this into an ad right away is when we're in a rush and that's hardly ever. So we don't do that often. But if you're in a rush, we totally understand, go ahead and do that. But if you're not, wait a day or maybe even two, let your post get its full engagement so that when you go to boost it, which is turn it into an ad right down below here, you go ahead and boost it. It will get the best rate possible in terms of money you pay when it comes to getting to engage and reaching the population you want to reach. So we actually have posted this before and our engagement was 43 people that it reached. This was posted March 10th, which was quite a while ago. So that it should be good in terms of the people that it's going to reach. It's probably laying flat now. You know, every now and then you get a, a person or two that stumble upon it because they're looking through all your posts on your page, but that's very rare. So we're going to go ahead and boost this to make it into a Facebook ad. So I'm going to click this button right here, boost this post, and then this beautiful boost post dialog box pops up. It gives you a preview of what your post is going to look like in the desktop as well as on cell phones, mobile news feeds. So on someone's desktop, it's going to look just like this. I always first start out by just proofreading it. So are you sure your company looks professional online? You may be surprised at how you're being perceived after reading this. Five ways to look professional online. Wonderful. The image looks good. Everything's spelled right in the image. So now we can move forward. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy to proofread and as if it's insignificant, but You'd be so surprised, even people like us at Helps Too, who do this all the time, we make little mistakes because sometimes you just get so used to doing things, you forget to do the small things. So that's a small thing worth doing. All right, so let's check it out, see how it looks in the mobile news feed. Looks wonderful. I think it looks great, compelling. I think it's going to be a good ad. So now let's look to the left here and move on after that. There are three options of the audiences that you can reach. So you can reach people who like your page and just those people, and that's fine if you want to do that, or people who like your page and their friends, second option, or people you choose through targeting. Now, we typically here at Helps too when it comes to posting blogs and our own ads, we choose number two because you will get the best price for people already having liked your page. That's just how Facebook works with its algorithms. Now, if you want to choose an audience, it kind of depends on what Facebook wants to give you. So you can choose an audience through targeting. And let's go ahead and do that. We have a few different audiences that we advertise to. We have clients here. So we have a music audience. We have an app audience, um, an audience for blogs and skin and music again and clothing lines and different things. And they just go on and on and on. So 
uh, you can go ahead and do that. You can edit your audiences if you already have audiences. But if you don't, you want to click this button right here where it goes to you creating a new audience. So you're going to name that audience. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to name it Tutorial Audience. And then you get to choose location. So you can choose the countries. We here at Help Sue, we generally like to stay broad because we're a virtual company. So we can reach, you know, everyone <laughs> who's online, right? So we stick with the United States and the United Kingdom. That's who we feel that we would reach the best. Or you can go with states, cities. Sometimes we're doing like, uh, you know, maybe just like a workshop in our city. We do have a city that we do operate out of. A couple actually now. And we're not just virtual. So we go ahead and target those cities when it comes to a workshop. But for the most part, we're virtual. So we just go with countries. All right. So interests. You can go ahead and just type in these interests. I'm going to actually delete these and type in some new ones. Um, startup company, uh, black business women online, home-based business. Cool. Let's start with some new ones. I'm going to go ahead and put entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurship comes up, so that's great. I'm just going to click that. Now, if you know a page that actually has a wonderful audience that you want to tap into, you can go ahead and write the name of that page. So I know Marie Forleo. She's a great entrepreneur. She talks about business all the time. I'm going to actually choose her. Let's see. Some others are auto-filling, auto-populating here. Let's go ahead and click uh, Tony Robbins. He's great. Dale Carnegie. He knows his stuff. And um, John C. Maxwell. He's written some great books. So let's go ahead and do these five. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to check below based on the price how many people I'd reach. So usually... We like to just do a little bit of money. We're going to do $10 today for this blog. We're going to reach with that audience about 730 people. Um, that's the least and probably 1900 maxing out there. Now let's just check and see what it would be if we did our page and their friends. A little bit less actually. So that's really funny that that's so. So typically I like to reach as many people as possible unless I'm trying to reach in particular a certain type of people. So Today it's a little more general because it's just a blog post. Let's go ahead and actually do targeting. We're going to target just for the sake of this tutorial. So our tutorial audience is on. Let's target and use an audience that we have derived. And here we go. After we feel like everything is good to go, we're going to go ahead and do this boost. All right, so click boost. I changed my mind there if you noticed. I was like, oh, I'm just going to target to our friends, our followers, excuse me, and their friends. And I changed it just because... Just felt like the right thing to do. So here we go. This promotion will run for three days. Your total budget for this promotion is $10. And as you can see right up here where it says boost post, it's in review. So what Facebook does, they always review your ad before they post it. They want to make sure it's within regulations. And if it's not, they'll tell you that it's declined with either a pop-up. They'll tell you it's approved with a pop-up or declined with some kind of notification or pop-up. So uh, sometimes it'll take, you know, usually an hour, two hours, if not, maybe like a day is the max I've ever seen, but usually it happens pretty quickly and it gets going. So it's telling us that we're targeting men and women ages 20 to 60 who live in two locations and have five interests. And you can click here for a full summary of what we did and then it lets you know all the other details and you'll be billed at a, a later date. So that's how it works. And once you're done, you can close and you can see right here that it's boosted for $10. And that is how it works. So right now you have just learned exactly how to boost a link on Facebook and how to do it with the probably the most engaging way. Now, another way to do it is with videos. That's a great engaging way. But today we just did it with images for the sake of time and you getting to learn something briefly. Now, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. There are so many coming every single week. And if you want more information just like this completely free, we do a lot of tutorials and we're coming out with an ebook and some video series that you can learn all of this stuff for free. So please sign up in the description box below and there's a link there. Click it, sign up for our email newsletter so you can become an H2 Helps 2 Insider. All right, with that, my name is Gabby here at Helps You. I hope that this tutorial helped you. Please share it, like it, and stay tuned. There's more to come. Take care.